that shows that everything is going great. We'll just get a garage band safety. What do you think? We're very good. Okay. Well, I had my co I had my first COVID jab yesterday, and it knocked me on my bum. Oh, really? <laughs> so oh, look out no. for that. You're very young, so you'll probably be okay. <laughs> so I'm just recovering. I've got to get the energy up. Yeah. We've got Cora Norton here. Let's do it. Cora Norton's here, guys. So exciting. Uh, the young singer-songwriter. Would you call yourself Strictly Country or what do you think? I kind of float around a little bit, but I think I'm, I'm pretty firm in the country genre. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's fantastic. Uh, my wife and I went to Sydney the other day and the weather was atrocious and we put your album <laughs> on and it made everything so much better. Oh, amazing. Um, Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you've had a new album come out on the 20th, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the 19th. I had my album oh. launch on the 20th, ah. but yeah. What was the album launch like? So much fun. It was a sold out show and the first ticketed event I've ever done and the first um, band show that I've done in well over a year due mm. to COVID. So it was really nice to be back on stage playing with my band again and um, yeah, surrounded by family, friends, people I've never met before, which is really exciting. So it was it was really nice to celebrate the release of the album finally. <laughs> yeah, when do you think you'll be gigging again? Well, I'm doing I'm doing um, gigs and stuff locally, and I'm actually going up um, Central Coast this weekend. Um, but I'm looking to do like interstate at the end of the year kind of still working out dates and stuff but as like a mini tour thing which I would really like to do um so we're well and truly back into the gigs um slowly oh, cool. but steadily where are you based uh, I'm down Wollongong way just oh, south of Wollongong you didn't get flooded oh uh, not too bad the, the town I live in are uh, kind of all the entrances and exits out of the town flood but not the town itself which is good yeah, you're raised you're on a you're on a bit of a hill by the sounds of it, fantastic. So tell me about uh, getting this album together. How did you approach it? Did you did you have enough songs? Did you need to write some songs in collaboration or what was the process? I mean, I wrote most of the songs on the album myself. So there are two covers on the album, but the rest of them are just um, me sitting around in my bedroom writing. Um, and I actually have, have so many songs that didn't make the album but I actually did write some songs specifically for the album, even though that I, I had these other songs. Um, I think the album is, is so specific in 19. It's supposed to be about um, my teenage years and the last seven years of my life. And I think there's some pretty wonderful songs that I've written that I would love to include on the next album, but they just kind of didn't fit with this one. So um, I definitely had aspects of, of teenage life that I thought I was missing. So I went and specifically wrote songs for that. Um, but most of these songs just come so easily to me and it was just a really, actually a really easy choice picking these songs to go into this album. Yes, there's a lot of reflective moments on there um, recorded really, really well. Where did you record it? I actually had four different producers for this album, which is a bit wow, unprecedented. Um, so Rod Moss, yeah, Track and Dog you? Studio. You didn't have rock star Sorry. moments. You didn't keep storming out like a rock star. <laughs> Something like that. No, yes. um, Rod Motby produced my my first album and he produced a majority of the tracks on this. Mm. But, um, you know, COVID and everything and we mm. kind of had the world working against this album, I think. So um, kind of spread it out a little bit and tried something new. Shane Nicholson, Michael Carpenter and Matt Bell also did amazing work on this album and I definitely would not change it for the world. Absolutely. It's a, it's a cracker. Uh, go and buy it wherever you buy music or just stream it or listen to it on Slice Radio, preferably. <laughs> we're going to be playing a, a, a lot of Cora Norton around here because it's good and we like to support young uh, Aussie artists and you fit all of those categories. Um, <laughs> let's talk, a lot of people won't know, you know, a little bit about your background and when you started playing music. Do you want to give mm -hmm. us the, the spiel on that? I know you've got it all rehearsed. 
(laughs) (laughs) I mean, music for me, I I always loved music. I always enjoyed music as a kid, but it was never something that I I saw myself doing. It was never like a career move for me. I actually grew up um, wanting to work in science and, and work with animals. And there were a few different I'm sure at one stage when I was four or five, I wanted to be an astronaut or something, but <laughs> musician actually never crossed my mind um, until I was about maybe 12 or 13, um, started picking up a guitar and kind of working working with it and, and trying to see how I go. And I found that I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and from there, I actually wanted to be a songwriter. I really, really have always loved writing uh in general I wanted to be at some point I wanted to be a novelist um so it that's was hard it was really, <laughs> that's very yeah, hard I don't know why I wanted to do that when I can write two and a half minute songs Absolutely. instead of 400 page books oh. um but yeah I just think for me the the turning point was I was actually a cheerleader for eight years and um I wasn't able to do that anymore due to a medical condition and for me I just, as a kid, I was bored in the afternoons. I needed something else to do, something else to put my energy into. So that's when um, I started taking guitar more seriously and I started writing songs and I found out how much I love it and I stuck with it. (laughs) Sounds like you're a natural. You just needed to find your way through. Uh, What's your favourite animal, by the way? People want to know. Oh, my favourite animal. I am a really big fan of marine animals. I love stingrays. Yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? And sharks as well. Big fan. Less fun. Less fun, though. <laughs> so songwriting influences, are they are they recent ones? Are they the classics like Dolly Parton, Bonnie Raitt, or, uh, you know, anyone you want to mention? In all honesty, like I've certainly, I've, I think I take inspiration from everything that I listen to which is a lot you know I'm, I don't even strictly listen to just the country genre I I listen to a bit of everything whatever's on the radio right now whatever was on the radio 50 years ago you know it, it's all going into my ears and, and forming some part of how I wrap my music but I'm very very um I think <laughs> unique in the way that each song is written so every song for me is special and it kind of just comes out for me and there's no process or I want this to be like um how Carrie Underwood wrote this song in this Mm. way it's just like I'm sitting down and I'm gonna write this song and it just kind of happens you're like a songwriting genius it's just (laughs) that's what Bob Dylan said he said I don't know where they come from they just come then they stop coming but then by that time he had a good amount parked in the bank, so he didn't need to worry about it. Well, yeah. let's have a little break in here. Let's have a Cora Norton uh, triple play. So we'll uh, we'll cut to three songs. What three are they going to be, Cora? You tell me. They're all good. Oh, my choice. Yeah, your choice. Oh, all righty. Let's do. I think "Devil on Your Shoulder" is one yes. of my favorites from the album. Good one. Um, "Headed Up" is another. And Last This Summer is the current single, so. Pow. All right, we'll be back after these three songs with uh, more Cora Norton chat. And we're back. Oh, my goodness, I'm sweating up a storm here. My goodness. <laughs> thought this COVID jab was supposed to make me feel better. All right, mate, let's bring it home strong. What do you think? <laughs> Back with, Cora Norton, back with Cora Norton here after those three fantastic songs and her album is uh, 19. It's available now. Stream it, buy it, buy hats. Have you got hats? I saw some hats on <laughs> Facebook. I do have hats actually, yeah. And beer cozies. And coolers, yeah. yeah. I'm kind of selling them as a, as a pack with the album online at the moment, so... Mm. Fantastic. What's next for Cora Norton? That's uh, a good way to finish up an interview. Yeah, well, I'm looking at um, what's going to be the next single. So if anyone out there has a, a particular favourite song, yeah, then Lap the do sun. let you, me know. Lap Around the Sun. What about Lap Around the Sun? Lap Around the Sun has already been a single. Oh, no. It was released uh, at the end of last year. Yeah. That's my favourite yeah one of mine too definitely why I released it but (laughs) of course 
That makes a lot of good sense. So the yeah. gig-wise, can you name anything in, say, mid to late April gigs-wise? Mid to late April. Mm. Oh, goodness. I don't think my mind is working. I, I'm, I'm checking day by day at the moment. Yeah, checking day by come. day. I so know that the Easter long weekend in. is a busy one for me. Um, and then, yeah, I do have a few gigs after that, but I, I can't recall right. whether they're local or not. I'm pretty sure. You can always find memory. out where to, to find you on Facebook. I bet you're on Instagram. Absolutely. I haven't looked. Yeah. Have you got a Twitter? Uh, I believe I have one somewhere, but I have not logged into it in like oh, three yeah. years. So who knows what's on there? <laughs> not really for young country singers, I don't think. Everyone <laughs> seems very angry about different things. So let's go into another, <laughs> let's go into a, a Cora Norton a double play because uh, we want to get a bit more Cora. And what, what, what are they going to be? Cora, you tell me. Oh, goodness. Well, I think then if you said you love Laugh Around the Sun, let's do Laugh Around the Sun. Yes, I will. And maybe my, my first single that I released from this album way back in 2019, Speechless. Oh, yeah. What about an older song? Would you like to give an older song a shout out? Have you got anything else? I have my, um, oh, goodness. I can't even remember what was on my last album. <laughs> my favourite song on my last album is uh, I Don't Want to Grow Up, which is um, I, I will find just that a one fun one. Like I will find that one and, uh, and add it to the list. Well, you're growing up very slowly and you're growing into a, a fine young artist. And I can tell uh, that you're very serious um, about your music. And, uh, you know, that that's the way to be. And you've got a good team uh, around you. Absolutely. And, you know, you're going to have so many gold records. Uh, you're not going to know where to put them. <laughs> that's what I think. One step at a time. But, look, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> oh, don't be so humble. You've got to talk yourself up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cora. Thank you so much for having me.